everybody, it's Amanda from Queen of Hearts Photography and welcome back to my tutorials. Today I have a quick watch me edit video. I'm going to show you how I make this photo pop. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to run is the Clean Beginnings action here in the Flourish set, also known as a Creative Bundle. I don't offer the set single anymore. Um, but the actual action itself is available singly um, on my Etsy shop. I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity of this to about 50% because exposure wise it's really good and I don't want to do too much to it that way. So we're just going to drop it down to about 50%. I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. And the next action I'm going to run is going to be the cotton action from the heirloom set. This is a favorite of mine and a favorite of everybody's who has this set and for good reason. It's a very beautiful action. I'm going to lower the opacity to about 80%. And I'm just going to take the layer mask here with a black brush and I'm going to erase it off of his blue eyes because I don't really want any warmth on them. You can see the difference when you take off that warmth on his eyes. We want to keep them as blue as they are in person. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. And then the next action I'm going to run will be the warmth action from the heirloom set. Um, I'm going to lower this to about 75% and I'm also going to erase it off of his eyes. I don't want any warmth on his pretty blue eyes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. The next one I'm going to run will be the oil paint brush on the background here. I love this action. I run it on a lot of images, especially ones that have backgrounds like this because it's really going to soften up the background some more and it's going to give it a lot of depth. I'll show you here in a minute. I'm going to get a little bit of a bigger brush to kind of cover the background. Make sure it's a white brush. I'm going to go on in and paint it. You can see how it deepens it up and it makes it very smooth and almost buttery like. I'm going to go in and just paint around this. Probably get a little bit on him. We'll go back and erase some of it off. And you can see on the layer mask some of the places that I've missed. So I'm going to go try to get those covered. And then I'm going to get a little bit of a smaller brush and kind of go in here a little bit more in some of these tighter places. A little bit closer to his arm and to his head. And then I'm just going to go back in with the black brush and just kind of erase it a little bit off of some of the places I might have gotten it, like on his head here. That's probably pretty good. All right, you can see how much it gave a lot of depth to that background. So before and the after, I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. And the next thing I'm going to do is run the air, the airbrush action here for his skin. <sighs> I always decide to do these videos after I've had my computer running for like 24 hours and I have like five different programs on going right now. <laughs> so some of the actions might run slow. I should have restarted the computer. I never learned my lesson. It's got a lot of filters though, so it takes a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead with my white brush. And I'm gonna go brush this on. I'm not gonna leave it on 100% opacity. I'm just going to leave it on while I paint it so that way I can kind of see a little bit better. I should have got a little bit smaller brush like that. To kind of get in there, make his skin look very soft. But I'm going to drop it down because his skin really didn't, doesn't need him any work. I'm going to drop it down to about 50%. I'm going to flatten that. And I'm going to go in with the sharpening brush here. Uh, with a little white brush here, and I'm going to get on his eyes. Definitely want them to stand out. So we're going to get his nose and his mouth. Now I'm not going to just go ahead and go over his whole face because we just softened that. So if you soften it and then you run a sharpening over it, you're going to mess with that beautiful soft skin that you just did. So we're going to take a little bit of a bigger brush and I'm just going to kind of get like the edges, like his hair and like the edges of his face here, like his jawline and stuff like that. 
I really don't want too much to be in focus. Just his eyes are the most important. So as long as those stand out, maybe get his eyebrows a little bit, then we're good to go. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. Now I am going to add a little bit of a mat here in the Back to Basics set. Now mats are usually just per personal preference. Um, I usually add one a lot. For this image though, I'm going to drop this down. I want like a mild mat. I'm going to about 50%. But then I'm going to go in with a layer mask and I'm actually going to take it off of his face. I kind of just want the mat on the background and not so much on him. I'm going to just take that off there. Should be pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell because the mat is pretty mild on here. So, and there we have it. So here is the before and here's the after. You can see there's such a big difference in just um, a few short minutes there and a couple of clicks and it would go a lot faster if I wasn't recording the video. So I hope that you learned something new here. If you have any questions, please just ask. And until the next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.